As we walk in Wadi El Natrun, it's important to know something about the history of the Desert Fathers of Egypt, who lived in this area for centuries. Before Christianity became a legal religion in the Roman Empire, people began to go out and live in the desert to seek the Lord Jesus. These Desert Fathers were hermits and monks. As they meditated and prayed over the scriptures, the truth of God's word would take them deeper. In a unique way, they were a major influence on the development of early Christianity. The early fathers lived as hermits. With time, some hermits gathered into small communities. This was the beginning of Christian monasticism. The emphasis of the Desert Fathers was on living and practicing the teachings of Christ. Their efforts to live the commandments were not seen as being easy. Many of the stories from that time talk about their struggle to overcome negative emotions like anger and judgment of others. The most well-known Desert Father was Anthony the Great. He became known as both the father and founder of desert monasticism. As a young man, Anthony heard a sermon on Matthew 9:21. If you want to be perfect, go, sell your possessions and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. He took the message to heart and made the further step of moving deep into the desert to seek complete solitude and follow Jesus. The fathers chose a life of renouncing all the pleasures of the senses, rich food, baths, rest, and anything that brought comfort. Thousands joined them in the desert, mostly men, but also a handful of women. Other people also began going out to the desert to seek advice and counsel from the early desert fathers. Some of the modern revivals have returned to their teaching, resulting in deeper purity.